Hi, this is JP Presavento, the Fox C6 EdTech Coordinator. Today I would like to demonstrate how to use Google Drawings, a Google Drive tool, to create a make your own graphic organizer template for students to use to create their own graphic organizers. I'll demonstrate how to create this and then in order to distribute this template to your students you would utilize Google Classrooms make a copy for each student feature. The first thing you'll need to do is access your Google Drive. Once you're in Drive you'll click Create and Drawing. Inside of Google Drawing the first thing I'd like you to notice is that you can adjust the width of your drawing and the length like so by dragging at the bottom. So now we need to add off to the side different shapes or text boxes into which students can um, type their responses and organize their thoughts. To do this we'll utilize the toolbar at the top of the page. We'll be focusing on the shape selector and the line selector. First I'll click shape and shapes and I will pick an oval. I'll begin by drawing out this oval deciding what size I want it to be. After I have created the size of my shape I'll need to make it mildly transparent so that as we if we layer other shapes on top of it we'll be able to see what is in each one. To adjust the transparency of a shape I click on fill color and then custom. When you're in the custom colors you can select a different color and then all the way on the right this will allow you to modify the transparency and I'll put it right about in the middle and click OK. You'll notice that this shape is now mildly transparent. Now I want to move it off to the side of my document and I want to make a couple extra copies of this shape. I can duplicate it by hitting on my keyboard control D. So I now have five of the same shape, the same color, the same transparency. Next I'd like to create another possible shape for my students to use in their, Venda or in their graphic organizer. So I'll click shape again and shapes and this time I'll select a rectangle. I'll draw out the size I'd like my rectangle to be and then I'll click fill color again and custom color. First I'll go ahead and give it a different color and then I'll adjust the transparency and click OK. I'll move this shape off the document onto the side and I'll hit control D to make a few duplicate copies of this shape. The last thing I may need to do is add some lines to connect my shapes. To do that I'll click the arrow next to line and I'll click line. I'll draw out a line I can click right here to adjust the weight of the line and make it a thicker color. I'll again move it off to the... I'll click the arrow here to activate my cursor and move my line off to the side and I'll hit control D a few times to make a couple different copies of this line. Now that I've created a template and I could continue to go on and I could add other shapes or arrows or call out boxes or mathematical equation signs as I would like and when I'm finished I'll go ahead and give this a title and I'll title it create your own graphic organizer and hit OK. When I'm ready to assign this to my students, I will assign it to them in Google Classroom and select Make a Copy for Each Student. To learn about Google Classroom, check out some of my other videos on Google Classroom. 
This has been JP Presavento demonstrating how to use Google Drawings as a create your own graphic organizer template.